Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the new feature that got released with iOS 13.4 that can allow you to share any folder in your iCloud drive with others and give them certain permissions, either to download and view the files or they can edit and upload files too. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a detailed guide on how to use the feature and also give you some tips and tricks to use it like a pro. So let's check how the new iCloud sharing feature works. But before getting started, let's make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. The new iCloud sharing feature works with iOS and iPad OS 13.4 or later and works with macOS Catalina 10.15.4 or later and finally it works with iCloud.com and iCloud for Windows if you have a Windows PC. Regardless what operating system you are using, all the participants need to have an Apple ID to take advantage of the new iCloud sharing feature. I'm gonna start with the simplest way of using the feature and then I'm gonna cover most of the scenarios that you might go through to provide you with all the information you need to know. To start using the feature, you need to open the Files app on your iOS or iPadOS device. And here you need to make sure that you are in the right location by going to locations from the top left corner and choose iCloud Drive. And as you see here, I have a test folder that includes some files for the purpose of this video. And if you don't know how to create a folder, just tap and hold on an empty space like this and you will get an option here called the new folder and once you tap on it you will be able to create one so inside this folder there are three files a screenshot all right and also a numbers sheet and a pages document and now you need to decide what exactly you want to share would you like to share only one file from this folder or you want to share the whole folder because if you shared the whole fol folder from here that means that people you are sharing the folder with will get access to all the files inside this folder. But uh, if you want to share only one file, you need to go to this file specifically and share it from here. So let's say we want to share the whole folder. You tap and hold on the folder and you will have the share button here. Once you tap on it, it will give you this share sheet, okay? Here you have a new option called add people. When you click on add people, all right, it will take you to another menu that has the sharing options. Here you have four options. First of all, you need to decide who can access the files in this folder, only the people you invite or anyone with the link. The most important thing you need to keep in mind if you choose the option anyone with the link and you send this link to someone and that person decided to send it to someone else, that third person will be able to access your data as well and you will not be able to track who's using the link. Especially if this link got shared with a lot of people, things might go out of control and a lot of people will get access to your data. So if you want to keep things in control, it's better for you to use the only people you invite. So that will assure you that only the people you invited are able to use the link, not everyone. The second section here is called the permission and here you have two options, either can make it changes or view only. If you chose can make it changes option here, that means that anyone that has access to your folder will be able to edit your own files or upload new files to the same folder or download those files onto their local machines. And, they, and if they uploaded new files on the same folder, everyone that has access to the folder will be able to edit those newly uploaded files too. And if you choose view only, they will only be able to view the files or download them on the local machines. So now I'm gonna change it back to can make changes and uh, go back to the previous screen. So once you are happy with the choices here, uh, just go back one step and you will now have more than one option to share your link. So I'm gonna go for the mail option and here you will get a new message with the link written in the body. And here I'm gonna send it to three different emails to show you how you can deal with multiple uh, participants. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, two Apple IDs and another email without an Apple ID. 
So now I'm done writing the emails that I'm going to send the link to. And here I have two Apple IDs and one email without an Apple ID to show you what's going to happen in this scenario. And as you see here in the body of the email, the link is showing as test folder, which is the name of the folder. And once I'm happy with the emails I'm going to send to, I'm going to tap on the send button. And here you go. So once you are done with sharing the folder, you will get this new icon on top of your folder that indicates that this folder is shared with others. And if you want to modify the permission levels and the access levels later, you can go to the same folder, tap and hold on it, and then you will have the share option again. And here you have show people instead of add people because you already have people added to the folder and once you you tap on add people now you see the three emails i sent the message to all right and here i can do multiple things the first thing you can do is to modify the share options for the folder uh, for example if you decided later to give access to anyone with the link you can do this here or you can change the permission level for everyone to view only and instead of can make changes uh, you can also copy the link and resend it again to the participants in case if any one of them lost the link or the original link you sent. And here also you can sh stop sharing the folder completely if you decided that you no longer need to share this folder. You can tap on stop sharing and everything will be back to normal. And uh, also here you can do individual permission levels. So for example, uh, for the first email, I'm going to give it only access to view the files while keeping the other two emails to make changes as you see here and once you do this and go back to share options you will see now the permissions uh, have this dash next to it which means they are not the same for everyone but if you change it the, the permission level let's say to can make changes here that will change everyone to uh, that can make changes so if you return back to the same email it change it from view only to can make it changes all right so again let me show you this i'm going to put it on view only and i'm going to keep the other two on uh, can make it changes and when i go to share options and modify it here it will be back to can make it changes for everyone okay so you need to keep that in mind uh, if you change it the share options from here uh, make sure that you are doing that for everyone correctly or you can change it individually if you want to. Also, you can remove access for a specific email or a specific participant while keeping the others. So if I tap here on remove access for this email only, the others will remain uh, having access to the same link while this email will be removed. Okay. You can also add more people if you want and here you have the share options one more time uh, but this time you don't have the access levels because that was said before and now you have only the permission levels you can use uh, can make changes or view only and once you are happy with that you can also do the same thing and email the link to the new participants you add it after sharing your folder so those are all the things you can modify later after sharing your folder so now let's put it into action so now i signed out from my apple id and signed in with one of the apple ids i sent the link to to show you how this works so now i'm going to open the email that i received and here is the email and here's the test folder link so i'm going to tap on it and now it says open test folder in files. It says here that Ahmad Hussein, which is me, shared this folder. You will join as a test the Apple ID too. And then you will be able to open this folder. So I'm going to tap on open. Seems like it's taking its time. Let's go to the files app. Yeah, and here you go. Here is the test folder. It has the same uh, screenshot I showed you before. Let me show you this. And also the same uh, numbers sheet and pages sheet. So the first thing you need to know, not because the folder is showing in your iCloud drive, that means it's taken from your storage. However, the storage is taken from the owner of the folder. You are just viewing the data and you can edit the data. However, 
that doesn't take anything from your iCloud storage. So you need to keep that in mind. And as I mentioned earlier, because I provided this email the access to make any changes, so I can create a new folder and I can also uh, upload files to the folder or I can upload it directly here if I want to. Uh, that's because I have the access to do so. And once I do this, all the participants, including the owner, will be able to see those files or edit them if they have the uh, permission to do so. Another thing you need to keep in mind that any uh, document, including pages, numbers, keynotes, they will automatically change to collaborative documents, which means if you open a document and applied edits to it, let's assume that you have the permission to do uh, changes. Um, and for example, I'm going to add an extra row here. All right. So I added an extra row and as you see at the top, it says that this document is collaborative and here are the other uh, emails that can do edits to the sheet. Okay. So once I hit done and go back to files and here the new updates I added to the sheet will be visible to the owner and all the participants that have access to the folder. One more thing I want to show you here because I know most of us use Microsoft applications when it comes to business like Microsoft Excel and Word and instead of numbers and uh, pages. So I have here um, a new Excel sheet uploaded to the same folder. So let me show you what happens when you open this. So when I tap on the Excel sheet for the first time, okay, it will give me this flag at the top saying it's a read only. You can't save changes to this file. And in this case, I have to save a copy, which means I'm duplicating the file and I can choose the location I want to save the file to. Uh, let's say we're going to save it into the same place we originally got the sheet from. And when you go to move, now I can start editing the sheet as you see now. All right. But the problem here, when you go back to Files app, you will see another copy of the same Excel sheet. And this is not the purpose of using the iCloud sharing feature. So I'm going to delete this file. All right. And to avoid this from happening, it's better for you for the first time only to open the Excel application and then browse to the file by going to your Files app and make sure you are on iCloud Drive, as you see here at the top. And here is the test folder, which is which is shared with me. And here I have the original Excel sheet uh, in the folder. And when I open it from here and apply the edits I want, let's do anything. OK. And go back. It says updating. And when you open your files app again, you will see now it's updating and the edits I applied are showing uh, to everyone immediately, okay? But you don't need to, to do this every time, that's only for the first time, and then when you tap on it, you will be able to open it directly in Excel without saving a different copy, all right? But this issue doesn't happen with numbers and pages because, because they are the native apps for any iOS user or any Apple user anyways, all right? Finally, I'm going to show you what happens when you send the link to someone that doesn't have an Apple ID, but I'm going to test that on my Windows machine and show you what happens in this case. So now let me show you what happens when you open the uh, sharing link without having an Apple ID. So this email I'm using here doesn't have an Apple ID. So when I click on the test folder link, it says here this file is private. Please verify you are allowed to open test folder using this Apple ID, which I don't have an Apple ID already in this email. So when I click on verify, it will say that select your email address and we will send you a verification link. So let's send the verification link and hit done. Now, when I go back to my email, I should get a verification link. So I click on verify now.
So now it's asking me to enter my Apple ID and that's uh, the case I want to show you here. If I used any Apple ID to sign in on this page, I will get access to the file as far as I verified the email address. So once I verify this is my email address and I don't have an Apple ID, I can sign in with any Apple ID after this. So let's continue with this. Email verified and when I hit done. So now I will be adding this folder to my Apple ID on iCloud, right? This is an empty folder because the previous folder is gone. So I couldn't do that same test with the same folder I showed you earlier. So I created another folder, but I, this is just to show you what's going to happen if you don't have an Apple ID. So in other words, if you sent the link to someone that doesn't have an Apple ID and then he created an Apple ID later with a totally different email, this person will still be able to access the folder using the original link without any issues. So you don't have to resend your invitation again to his new Apple ID because he can just verify his email address or her email address and get access to the folder straight away. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the things you need to know about the new iCloud sharing feature to start using it without any issues. And if you still have any questions or you encountered any problems, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you out. So thank you so much for watching i hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching